Okay, people. So now it's uh, March 14, 2018. As you can see, I'm in my workspace here, people. I have to gather up this stuff and reorganize it somehow, some way, and send it to the cops. <laughs> That's what the judge told me to do. <laughs> so, needless to say, I'm kind of like... Uh, overwhelmed right do you see that people <laughs> it's just a fraction right I don't really know what I'm doing people I, I don't like it's not fair that I have to rearrange all this crap and do it all over again and it, I don't know I don't know people I just don't know what to think anymore. This is what I wrote. I'm going to send this to the premier of this province. Look, there's Uncle John's original signature, people. Do you see? There's mine. All right. And this is when we sent it to the attorney general when we lived in that shanty shack. All right. You can see... Public Safety and Solicitor General. Right. This was back in 2005 or so. Five, six, seven. Enclosed is a timeline history of events and reactions to those events that occurred between the years of 2000, sorry. Hold on, there we go. 2003, 2004, and all of 2005 regarding Miss Chorney and her family and including Mr. Duncan to whom... Uh, has experienced all events connected to this reference of complaints that Mr. Duncan and Miss Chorney would like to see resolutions developed to address the seriousness of this letter. Is the intent, it is the intent of this letter for those persons in position of parliamentary authority to change or amend existing legislation to easily adopt more effective solutions to addressing criminal youth activity, mental health concerns for reasons to either drug addiction or for organic metal, men, mental health concerns, for housing crises, and for family wellness in general that promotes healthier living practices within the community. Noting the complaint issues being addressed in this letter package and in the way they are written, Miss Chorney and Mr. Duncan would like to apologize for any tedious reading aspects, aspects of this ledger. It is not the intention of Miss Chorney or Mr. Duncan to simply complain or to seek damages from the provincial government, whereas we are seeking to see legislation, legislated actions implemented where applicable in a timely manner as a parliamentary way to protect the rights of parents who have minor children at risk to be exploited. I was referring to my oldest daughter back in those days, people. In addition to protecting the rights of renters or in the, in the case of a minor child or children, that's when I was looking after that little girl for MCFD people, who are subject to be abused and or neglected, whether from their parents or from an outside community member at any given time. The following ledger focuses on Miss Chorney and family, on the daughter of Miss Chorney, who is currently in the youth justice system. Currently landlord, landlords of tenant Mr. Duncan and Miss Chorney, because my landlady was mentally ill and she wasn't receiving any proper health care. Uh, plus, she was an abandoned, abused woman by her husband. Minor child of landlord, the little girl that I was looking after people, landlords in the care of Mrs in the care of Miss Chorney, and consequently those persons involved in relation to the history of events that have occurred over the last three years from the onset of welfare reform. Thank you for taking the time to consider all possibilities in relation to creating sounder, go sounder governing legislative practices that can be made to address some of the issues that face our community today and of which puts children and youth at risk 
higher risk to experience child exploitation and or community abandonment. And this is exactly what's happening in 2018 with my oldest daughter. I went to the BC Lib government back in 2005 and I gave them the information that they needed to know in terms of what families were being faced with. There's 21 pages. I wrote a total of 24 pages, people. You can see full pages. Full pages, people. And the only thing that happened is things got worse. Because they ignored it. Because that wasn't the agenda back in those days. Anyway, I have to... Now, I should give this to the cops, too. Whoever, whatever... I'm trying to keep... Hold on a minute. I'm trying to keep... I'm trying to keep... Uh... Whatever I send down to a minimum. <laughs> Just looking at it gives me a headache, people. Because I'm having to rearrange it again. All right? But this definitely needs to go to our new government to see what, so they can see what we're really up up against in terms of if that was for 2005 and it's 2018. That's 13 years that has been festering with these problems that are written down in this um, synopsis of issues, right? And um, you know, if we had a housing problem back in 2005 which we somewhat did. Not to the degree that we have it now, but, um, and things have only gotten worse and not better, right? Then, I don't know, people. Good old Uncle John. I'm, I'm shaking my head. Like, what the fuck, John? I say, John, like, what the fuck? Do you see his signature, people? There's his signature, there's Uncle John, okay?